A family torn apart, three young brothers involved in a crash, two of them did not survive. This afternoon, the family of 11-year-old Samuel Ward and 16-year-old Alan Fletcher told us the road where their car crashed is dangerous and needs to be fixed. That wreck happened last night in Huntsville at the intersection of Bob Wade Lane and Mount Lebanon Road. Way 31's Matt Kroschel joins us live from that intersection. And Matt, another brother in the car survived the crash and is uh, back home recovering right now. And what we know right now is that those brothers were all riding together inside the same car when the oldest, the 16-year-old, lost control while driving along this stretch of road. The car flipped and they were ejected from it. Investigators are still working out the details about this crash, but they say that this stretch of road is somewhere they're very familiar with. I want to show you some video. This is the area just adjacent to where the crash happened. It's an S curve with a blind hill that leads to the intersection here where that traffic signal is. The family telling us that they would like your prayers, but more importantly, they want officials to fix this road. This road has been dangerous for years. Uh, people drive at accelerated speeds um, and it's a blind spot. Basically, um, it's, it's definitely a blind spot and it needs to be brought to the attention of the engineers for this road to see if they could possibly do anything so that there's not another fatality, so that another family doesn't have to go through what I'm witnessing my cousin and my family having to go through. Alan Fletcher just joined his family this past Sunday for his 16th birthday. He attended Lee High School, was on the basketball team there. Grief counselors were on hand today inside that school. His brother Samuel attended a Madison County School. Huntsville police telling me today that they actually responded to another crash here at this same intersection just this morning. They want drivers to make sure they're paying attention out here and following those traffic rules. For now, live in Huntsville, Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News. All right, and Matt will join us again at 5 o'clock with reaction from Lee High School's principal and what the school is doing to help students get through this loss.